new electric vehicles from Ram and Winnebago, new Garmin RV GPS units, a semi-truck hits a herd of bison, and an outlook on fuel prices for 2023. This is the RV and Camping News. I'm Jason Epperson. This is RV Miles. Welcome. Hope you're all having a happy new year. Hope none of you broke your finger on an RV ladder like I did. It's been a day, but it's time to hit up the RV and camping news. First up, fuel prices have affected many of the travel decisions RV owners and road trip travelers have made over the last couple of years. Predictions for 2023 vary widely, with some predicting fuel prices will remain stable or even decrease while others are projecting a gradual increase. Generally speaking, economic and political factors such as the state of global oil production and demand can have a significant influence on gas prices in any given year. Last week, we reported on a dramatic drop in fuel prices between Thanksgiving and Christmas, but since there's been quite the reversal. AAA says that the late December winter storm and its frigid temperatures caused gas prices to spike, with refineries as far south as Texas and the Gulf Coast forced to shut down temporarily. The storm also caused holiday travelers to fuel up and hit the road early to beat the bad weather, leading to a spike in overall gas demand. The national average for a gallon of gas rose about 20 cents over the last two weeks. Quote, the cost of gas will likely rise a bit more before this surge stalls due to less expensive oil and a return to seasonal driving patterns, said Andrew Gross, AAA spokesperson. But 2022 will go down as a record year with a national average of 396. That's 40 to 50 cents more than the previous peak years of 2011 through 2014. But overall, fuel prices are on a downward trend. Gas Buddy has released their annual fuel price outlook, which is generally actually pretty accurate. They share that some relief may be on the way in 2023, predicting that the yearly national average for a gallon of unleaded will drop nearly 50 cents to 3.49, but a $4 national average remains possible ahead of and during the summer driving season. They say that barring unexpected challenges, prices in 2023 should return to normal seasonal fluctuations, rising in the spring and dropping after Labor Day into the fall. Though most major U.S. cities will see prices top around $4 per gallon, areas of California like San Francisco and Los Angeles could again experience near $7 gas prices in the summer. The national average could reach $4 per gallon as early as May with the highest gasoline prices forecast for June with an estimated peak of up to $4.19 per gallon on average. Gas Buddy predicts nearly the reversal for diesel with a steady decline from today's $4.68 average down to around $3.81 by September, after which we'll see a bit of a rise again during heating oil season. Of the big three automakers, Stellantis's Ram brand is the last to debut a battery electric truck. But this week at the Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas, attendees are getting a look at its prototype. The Ram 1500 Revolution concept boasts a powered front trunk with one touch open and close functionality. Its side view mirrors are smaller and lighter weight than traditional mirrors and use a camera to capture the truck's surroundings. Cameras like this come on cars in Europe, but are not yet legal in the US. It has adjustable air suspension and saloon doors with no B pillar. The larger space allows for third row jump seats and a power mid gate with a removable section that can be placed in the bed or outside of the vehicle. The mid gates powered glass enables pass through functionality that allows for objects up to 18 feet long with the tailgate closed. Ram has installed two screens on the center of the truck's dashboard with 28 inches of display space, and that lower display can be removed and installed in other parts of the truck or to be used like a tablet. The rear view mirror shows a 360 degree view and a panoramic electrochromatic roof features adjustable transparency options. Designers focused on using sustainable products on the inside of the Ram Revolution with recycled rubber and cork and leather made out of an Apple byproduct. And that's not Apple Electronics, actual apples. It will have self-driving capability along with something they call shadow mode, a voice activated feature that allows the vehicle to automatically follow a driver that's walking ahead of the vehicle using sensors and cameras. Not sure what you use that for, but it sounds interesting. There's no info yet on the range, towing capacity or price, or if this truck is even buildable as is, but Ram expects to be entering the EV arena in 2024. 
Garmin has updated its popular tablet style GPS navigators, releasing the new RV 895 and the RV 1095 also at the Consumer Electronics Show, but you can get them online now with 8 inch and 10 inch screens respectively. I recently reviewed the new RV 795, which is the 7 inch version that was released back in September. The 895 and 1095 get the same software updates, with the most interesting being a satellite view of your destination, which allows you to plan your arrival. So imagine you're like pulling into a large Walmart parking lot. Garmin can help you determine in advance which of several entrances will be the best and route you to it. You continue to get recommended routes based on the size and weight of your motorhome or trailer. The 795 is about the right size for our truck dash, and it's the only one available with a dash cam built in. But these larger models incorporate a split view map option that shows an active route on one side with the overview of the remaining route and impending weather on the other. They have even worked to provide real-time parking and shower availability at popular truck stops. You get warnings about upcoming bridge heights, weight limits, sharp curves, school zones, steep grades, and more. Those are the best features of it, in my opinion, and I've always found them very helpful on Garmin devices, even when I'm not routing to a particular destination. You'll still get sharp curve ahead. Garmin has also released a new dash cam called the Dash Cam Live, an always connected LTE camera that offers drivers access to a live exterior view of their vehicle when they're away from it. With the purchase of a $9.99 a month subscription, motorists can utilize the Garmin Drive app to access an on-demand view of everything within sight of the dash cam in the vehicle. You also get theft alerts and other incident alerts when parked and away from the vehicle. The camera records in 1440p with a 140 degree field of view. Save video clips are automatically stored in a secure online vault. Through spoken commands, drivers can save video, stop, start recording, take still pictures and more, all while keeping their hands on the wheel. Available now, the Garmin Dash Cam Live has a suggested retail price of $399.99, the RV 895 is $699, and the 1095 is $899. A disturbing accident near Yellowstone National Park last week resulted in the demise of 13 bison. Law enforcement reported that a semi-truck collided with a herd of bison on Wednesday, December 28th, just after nightfall north of West Yellowstone, Montana, along U.S. Highway 191. Local police said the initial collision killed multiple bison and several others had to be euthanized due to severe injuries. Authorities reported that bison are often seen near the junction of Highway 191 and U.S. 297, close to the westernmost boundary of the park. They use highways as passages when snow accumulates too high for them to navigate. As migratory creatures, bison will traverse up to 1,000 miles in a year, seeking out optimal areas for grazing, raising offspring, and escaping unfavorable weather. During the spring and summer months, they're often found roaming among mountain grassland before venturing down to lower elevations when winter draws near. The police didn't indicate whether the driver of the truck broke any laws during this accident. In their statement, they reminded motorists that it is essential to drive below the speed limit in winter weather conditions. Finally, Winnebago is teasing a new electric Class B camper van concept that it plans to debut January 18th at the Florida RV Super Show in Tampa. You may remember last January, we covered two EV concept vans on proprietary chassis from both Winnebago and Thor Industries, but this new concept appears to be built on a Ford E-Transit chassis. No details are available yet, but the E-Transit only has a range of about 100 to 126 miles. So we'll see if Winnebago has been able to do anything to increase that. As I mentioned last year, I wouldn't be surprised if an actual electric RV becomes available to consumers some point this year, but don't expect it to travel more than 200 miles or so. Still, with a stop for lunch and charging, a 200 to 300 mile travel day is getting closer and closer to reasonable for a lot of RV travelers. That's it for this week's RV and camping news. Make sure to check us out on the RV Miles podcast. And if you haven't become a member, if you want to support us a little bit more than just being a subscriber, you can click that join button, become a member of the channel for just a few bucks a month. You can really help us bring these news episodes to you. We'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.